Hi, I'm Heidi Hewitt, AutoCAD Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk, and I'm here with Bill Fain, AutoCAD expert and author. Bill, we're talking about tool palettes, and can you kind of describe how users can take advantage of their existing block libraries and tool palettes, kind of combine those functionalities? Again, block insertions are a perfect example of where you want to properly use tool palettes and tools from tool palettes. And again, it's as simple as you've got an existing block insertion, you simply click on it, pause for a moment, click again, drag it onto the palette, you now have a tool that will insert that uh, block insertion on the correct layer with the correct specifications that you want. There is a difference, however, with creating a tool for a block insertion as opposed to the commands by example where you can drag a circle on and create a family of line, circle, and arc, and so on. Block insertions don't actually insert or keep a copy of the block definition in the tool palette definition. So that if you uh, move the tool palette to a different machine or send a copy to a coworker so they can use run off the same palette, you must also send the block definition files with it. Whereas on the other tools by example, that's not necessary. So with because blocks are um yeah, definition or reference type files. Yes. It's a good rule of thumb to maybe have when they're dragging it onto the tool palette to create their tools to have a uh, library file as opposed to just any random drawing. Correct. And the best way of doing a library file, of course, if you're in an office situation, is to have your library up on the file server so that everyone is referencing the same logs. You're just all about CAD standardization, <laughs> aren't you? Oh, yes. I was. Yeah. Uh, having been a manager of a design department, that became a very big issue pretty quickly of making sure everything was done to standard because it greatly simplifies things in the long run, in the short run even, yeah, to good have things done properly to standard. Saves time and reduces errors. Exactly. And yep. blocks and tool palettes are definitely a good direction to go for that. Definitely. Great. Yep. Thanks, Bill.